Hey, this is Eric with Techno RV, and today I want to talk to you about the new Surge Guard 34950 and do some comparisons uh, with the Progressive PT models. Now, this is the PT50C. Uh, there is a, a newer edition PT50X out. Um, they've uh, changed a little bit of the housing. The protection levels uh, are the same as the PT50C, and mainly we'll be talking about those protection levels. Uh, first thing that I want to point out on these is that uh, they, they both analyze uh, the pedestal power. That means when you plug them in, flip the breaker, they're going to analyze to make sure uh, that there's no open neutral conditions, uh, no uh, open ground conditions, no reverse polarity issues, make sure the high and low voltage uh, is within a certain range. Uh, the difference on the analysis is, is that the, the progressive uh, takes uh, 2 minutes and 16 seconds. They actually post it right here on the side. 2 minutes and 16 seconds for it to do that analysis, and the surge guard takes 10 seconds. So it's a pretty big deal uh, as an RVer, as you're hooking up your RV, waiting that amount of time. Uh, 10 seconds is really nice. Uh, the other differences in these models from a protection standpoint is actually pretty huge. Um, both of them do what's called line side protection, so from the pedestal uh, to the RV. Uh, the protection pretty much stops at the pedestal. Load side protection, uh, the Surge Guard 34950 is the only one uh, that has it. This means that it can detect open neutral conditions within your RV. Uh, it can also detect elevated ground conditions from inside of your RV. Uh, and that's a big deal. The Progressive will not do that. It only does line side protection. So if you want line side and load side protection, you got to get the 34950 from Surge Guard. Now, why would some of these conditions exist, like maybe open neutral or uh, ground related uh, conditions. Uh, you could lose a neutral at the at the cord reel. You could have poor connections at the junction box, uh, poor connections between your shore power and the inlet, uh, poor connection at the transfer switch, um, or even the main breaker box. So uh, poor connection can be an issue for RVers because we're the RV the RVs vibrate a lot going down the road. We're banging through uh, rough roads. And uh, over time, things have a tendency to kind of loosen up, including electrical uh, connections. So the surge guard will kind of pick that up if you have any of those conditions within your RV. Let's just talk about surge uh, itself, like a surge condition. Uh, the, the, the progressive uh, per, has a surge protection uh, rating at 3,580 joules. The 34,950 has a joules protection of 4200. So it's considerably different. The surge guard has more uh, protection from a surge standpoint. Uh, the, uh, they both have the locking ring uh, just for a little anti-theft measure. Uh, they both have that so that you can take a cable lock or a chain or something like that and actually lock these units to uh, the RV pedestal to prevent that theft. And then from a warranty standpoint, uh, uh, Progressive has customarily uh, had one of the better warranties on the market with a, a lifetime warranty. Uh, but now Surge Guard actually has the best warranty uh, on the market. It's got not only a lifetime warranty, but it also has connected equipment coverage, which Progressive does not have. What connected equipment coverage is, this means that if the Surge Guard unit fails, and because of that failure, something in your RV gets damaged, Surge Guard, the company, uh, will pay for that damage. So that's a pretty big deal. They're, they're that confident in their unit that it's going to protect your RV from these conditions. Uh, another difference in uh, these units is actually the, the displays. Um, the Surge Guard has a LCD dual line display, uh, so it's uh, easy to read. It gives you your line one and line two voltage on the on the same screen. Uh, it's also going to tell you your voltage and your amps that you're drawing from each uh, line. Uh, the progressive, um, the screen on it, it, quite honestly, it's just not as good. 
uh, looks like maybe a, a, a old Pac-Man display or something, but the uh, it's just not as good. And also, uh, it does give you your line one, line two voltage and how many amps you're drawing off of each line. Um, so that's good. The other thing is that with the surge guard, if there is a fault of some kind, let's say you don't have a uh, uh, you have an open ground situation, uh, the surge guard just plainly says in the display that you've got open ground. Uh, with the progressive, it flashes codes to you. Uh, there's a there's a, a code reading on the on the front of the uh, unit here for progressive. So if it flashed say an E2, that would mean you have a open ground. Where, where this one will just say open ground. So um, we've heard of people having these fade out and not really being able to read the codes. Uh, if it's still there, then obviously you could easily just see what the code is, but I much prefer just to have the unit just tell me what it is. So the comparison between surge guard and progressive has always been a kind of a touchy subject amongst RVers. It's almost like a Ford versus Chevy type thing. I'm a full-time RVer. I've used both. Um, and as the owner of Techno RV, uh, I only sell one solution for a particular issue. And so I choose sides. In this case, uh, the, the surge card, if you just look at the facts and the specifications on the coverage that it provides, uh, with now it has the load side protect, protection, which the progressive doesn't have, and it has better line side protection. It has a better surge uh, protection as well. Uh, and it has a better warranty with the connected equipment coverage and the lifetime warranty. So I wanted to point all those things out to you. If you want more information, you can just click the link below. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Or you can go to our website and uh, shoot us a chat or an email from there.